I want to vlog, because I usually do. I just tell you, a couple days ago I heard about the weather, which is going to be Friday, and I tell you the truth, I just told me something from God. So, I'm going to say this, that God's giving me permission to know, and I'm just going to do what I usually would want to say do, in that case, so it's going to be different. You know, God, I know you're going to bring that person Friday. You know the weather's going to be in the 70s. I know it's going to be better. I know you're going to have someone there that I'll meet. So both of us supposed to be there on Friday. You got me to look at pictures and prayers I want to say. I want to say that I know Steve. And I think it's Kathy at the Bloom Stores with me. And I know my former friend, he's no longer in my life, but I know he'd be with me. So I know they stand behind me. I can say, finally God's going to move a mountain for me. It's one of those things that sometimes a person, you know, it's just, the best thing you're saying is, my prayers, I think it's the surfboard, Ocean Beach. So I pray the leg lock is side to side. I mean, like left to right, not to back to back. So he's facing the board, face front facing. And so I pray that I can talk to her saying, you know, I need to talk to you. I don't want you to say yes or no, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Mostly, I've been ready. Preparing, God got me to do some things. So I guess I'm asking you, yeah, I want you to take me over the water. But I want you to know, I got a wetsuit on. I'm prepared. Can I sh say if you say you say yes? How I can stay on with you? Let me show you. Let me convince you. I just well, I really want to just gotta talk to you. And that's why. It's always important. And I guess the point, how to get to A, B, to C. How to get to the point where I get to San Francisco, see about the person kite flying, and how to get to open water. But I tell you the truth, that's up to God. I mean, there's nothing much I can do. There's nothing much the, the person itself, but the person be, you know, not open minded and hearing. So I hopefully God will talk to me. Use my voice and talk to him. And I guess saying, what I want is get on his back, put my feet on his board, lock on to him. Now, and the reason saying this, I'll admit I'll be scared. I mean, there's no, no uh, lie about that, you know, it's like leaving from the beach to the open water. But I tell you the truth, it's something that you have to take faith in God and also the person driving the kite. He doesn't want to drown and be a strong wind. So I think also saying this is I know God doesn't want me to die. You know? So I think in some sense we control the wind enough that it won't be overpowering for us. And then he'll make sure the right person who has the right board and in my experience, so the guy will have a knowledge of how to fly the kite. So I guess also is conquering fear, trying something new, scary. You know, I think I, I sometimes feel like saying, this may be the last time I've talked to you because I don't know how to live. I mean, I don't know how to die fighting. But I tell you the truth, I don't think God make it happen. You know, God's going to make sure that the wind won't be too strong. The guy's going to be small enough, he knows what to do. I have proven myself that I bought the wetsuits and I'm going to die of coldness to get in the water. God's going to make sure the kite stays up in the wind, high up in the wind, and push us along. So I don't think that the, the kite will slow down. And, and I get experience. And it's also saying this is, I'll be able to have someone to minister to. This is more than just having fun and learning something new. It's not just a bucket list. This is more a style of friendship. 
get his phone number to tell him how I think of being with him. It's maybe an opportunity to do this again. And it's also a maybe a chance of roommate. I don't know, but it just in some sense I hope everything goes right. So I just can't wait Friday. See the guy. Open the open water. He comes to the beach and I talk to him. And just I don't know how you know, I have so many thoughts how to say things. You know, I don't know what I've been thinking about saying to him, I'll say it. There's something else that I've got me to say to him. But my prayer is that somehow I talk him into taking me. Saying saying to me, sure, I'll take you. I like you to on to me. I like you to hold on to me. And you know, him saying, God's not gonna let us drown. Do you have faith in God? God's gonna protect us. I don't know. I all I do all I hope is God also move the mountains making sure we're gonna be okay. I guess that's all I can say. I guess I just can't wait for this new experience. This room uh, is, you know, is a Red and orange are the white for a long time, but this is a red, 36 inch, locally bought, two blues again. So I just can't wait. I had no friends support me on Facebook. They don't really care. And that's kind of sad because I don't, I don't really want to talk to them because they're not behind me. They don't love me. They don't care about me. They, they just think of me as a stranger. I just can't wait. So, God, just make today a wonderful day. I pray my mom will be there. The angels will make sure everything go right. White size kite to lift us both up in the air. The white board, I, I want a six foot inch board. And I just want to be close to someone. Okay, I'll give him a thank you gift for 80 bucks, and I'll give the church too. If I can see him regularly, I give a uh, donation to the church every day, I guess it's a tie, every day to the church a buck. I mean, I tell you the truth, I almost want to give the church $100 for this to happen. I mean, I mean what else I can say? I want this friendship. I, I really want this experience. I guess it's just something that it was like never been on a surfboard, never surf with someone, never know what it feels like. And just taking the ride. Maybe just saying, hey, show me what it's all about. I mean, I know that we can't go back to the beach because the wind will keep us out. But I just can't wait to be with him. And I hold on tight with him because my gloves be locked on. So that's something good to think about. When you know that your gloves are locked and you lock onto the back of his clip, you, you don't really have something to scale about. You, you have a bungee cord around your legs or something that can use a bungee cord to lock, make sure you lock on. That helps out too. So I'm going to turn it off now and try some things. I won't be in the library Saturday because it's closed Saturday, you know that.
Okay. Time to get off this lady.